Hello, thank you for joining me for a few minutes to talk about being a class mom. First of all, we want to thank you for offering up your time and it is a lot of fun, but we do know that you're, you're volunteering your time on such a busy weekend and we do appreciate that. Your help uh, makes it so our recital goes just that much more smooth. So, so appreciated. Um, you are going to need to arrive at the casino on Friday for dress rehearsal around 4.30. Everyone else is expected to be there at five, but we do like the class moms to be there just a little bit early so that you're there when all of the kiddos in your class are going to arrive. We have both moms work at dress rehearsal. So if you're one of the moms who signed up for both shows, it will just be you. But if you signed up for just the one o'clock or just the six o'clock, the other mom will be there on Friday as well. So we'll have you both work at dress rehearsal so that you know what you're going to do when you get to your show on Saturday. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is come down the hallway. Like when you come in the door, come straight, straight ahead, straight down the line up hallway. And there is an additional video that you can watch that just kind of shows you all the places that you'll go as a class mom. Um, and then we will have a little table set up for, with some things. One of the things will be uh, a lanyard that says class mom. And these are a requirement of the casino because the service hallway that we use to go between the sides of our backstage is actually controlled by the DCI, the, kit, the Department of Criminal Investigation. So it's a controlled hallway in a casino environment. And so you have to have a lanyard so that they know that you're with the dance recital and that you're not just a random person in a secure area. And also this designates you as a class mom. So if other moms have a question or need something, then you're gonna kind of be a go-to person with this class mom badge. And then for the recitals, if you're doing the one o'clock show on Saturday, it's a great if you can be there by one or by, by 1130. And if you're doing the six o'clock show, it's great if you can be there by 430. So when you're in your dressing room and kiddos are starting to arrive, we like you to encourage everybody to take their child to the restroom. So everybody has to use the restrooms that are off of the lobby. And it's just great if before they start getting dressed, you have moms take those kiddos to the restroom. And then um, if you somebody has to go to the restroom, like while you're lined up or whatever, there's ample help so that you can get, uh, you know, a teacher or somebody to either watch your class so that you can take kiddos to the restroom or you can stay and have a teacher or another lineup helper take kiddos to the restroom. If you have an emergency in their backstage, you kind of have made it that far and somebody has to go, just ask a backstage person because there are green room restrooms back there that we don't have everybody use, but because we save them for emergencies. So once everybody's in the dressing room, they're not allowed to leave. So the kids can't leave and go running around in the event center or running around in the lobby. They have to stay in the dressing room and then you'll all go as a group together to the lineup hallway. And you're going to stay with them there and then you're going to stay with them when they come backstage. You're going to stay with them until they're done dancing. So class moms are assigned kind of a group of classes. So if it's a group of classes, it's ballet, jazz, tap, some of the kids may be in hip hop. You're going to stay with the kids until we're all through all of their dances. You're going to when you go pick up your lanyard, you're also going to pick up a packet that looks like this, has a label that has your group of classes that you're in charge of and your name on it. And then in that, there's some information. One of the things is this sheet. This is the recital order. And then it's highlighted what routines the kids that you're in charge of are in. So it does highlight who's in tumbling. And we don't use class moms for tumbling because as soon as everybody gets there and gets ready, we start lining up the tumbling. And those are all the tumbling numbers just line up in the hallway before the recital even starts. So we don't have class moms for that. We just, the teachers kind of handle that. But we also want you to know who's in tumbling because you have these classes down here and you're working on getting them together and you could be wondering where some of these kiddos are. And then you'll know they're in tumbling or maybe they're in production number or something else. Also in your packet is a sheet like this for every dance. So it says what number they are, 
It says how many heads you should have when you're counting. Uh, and then it says what tights, what shoes, you know, shows you. And obviously you have, a, you have a child in this, in these dances. So you have a pretty good idea of what they should be wearing, but we need you just to watch out for like, if they're in their jazz costume and somebody still has pink tights on things like that. And hopefully everybody has everything that they need, but if they don't, we have a cart in the hallway that is full of tights and jewelry and all the things that anybody could have forgotten or misplaced. Um, then it goes on to say the dressing room that you're in, who the two moms are, and then this is a little bit more for us about how they enter and exit. And then it has the lineup. And you're not going to have to worry about that until you go to the lineup hallway. So once you go to the lineup hallway and you start kind of working your way down, you're going to want to make sure that they're in this order. So we put front line first, starting with the first person that goes on stage and then back line. And that's because when they come up to go backstage, if they come up in that order, then the front line can just go around to there. We have rugs back there to kind of keep everybody in their lines. And then the back row comes and gets on their rug. So it works really well if you, and they can be in a straight line in the lineup hallway, but you're just going to start with that first person in the front row and go down and the first person in the back row and go down. And there'll be 10 people that will double check this before then, but you're kind of our first line of, of defense to get everybody into their spots. Then on the back of each one of these sheets is a class list. So there's a class list that also has the parent, the primary parent on their account, which typically is mom, um, and then their phone number, their primary phone number. So if you had an emergency, if somebody threw up or somebody, you know, cried or anything like that, and you need to reach a parent, then you have this info. Also, if when they're done dancing, a parent has not come to claim their child and, and are maybe waiting for the end of the show, you can text them and encourage them to come and pick up. So you're keeping those kiddos until they're done dancing. And when they get to their last dance, their parents should claim them and they can go to the audience or, or if they're going to leave for a while or whatever, they can, they can do that. Uh, just be in communication as you need to be with dressing room managers. So each dressing room has a dressing room manager that will be wearing a headset to communicate with people closer to the action, closer to the backstage and communicate with people that are actually backstage. So if you need something or you have a question, it, they're kind of a great first line of defense. You can ask them and you don't have to take yourself all the way down that hallway and all the way back and ask a million people. It's like you can pass the question on down and, and they can get an answer for you. Um, once your class makes it all the way down the lineup hallway and then they turn and go into the service hallway, you are going to be able to slip out into the audience and there is in this class this other class mom video i have that kind of sh will show you this that you're going to go into the stage right backstage area and there's a diagonal curtain that runs through that part of it's a dressing room part of it is our sound hub and you're going to just stay along that diagonal curtain and go all the way to the wall and then just kind of follow the wall to go out and you'll be able to push aside the pipe and drape and you'll be able to slide out into the audience, but you're kind of up against the wall so it doesn't cause a distraction. And then you can just zip right over to the audience and usually we reserve either the third or the fourth row for class mom so that you're not right in the front because that's, you're kind of looking up and not, I don't always think that's a great seat. Um, so three or four rows back and we'll have an entire row that just have pages on them that say class mom. You can slide into that row, watch your class, then you're gonna retrace your steps and come back through the drape, follow that diagonal curtain along, come back to the service hallway, and you'll actually just go back through the doors to the lineup hallway. Teachers then that are assigned to that far side of the stage are gonna walk those kiddos through the service hallway and they're gonna meet you at the lineup hallway. You'll take your class back to the dressing room everybody's mom should come and help them change. You as the class mom are not responsible for changing all those, you know, 7, 10, 12, 15 kids. You just have to change your own. And hopefully all those mamas show up to get their kiddos ready. And then they're probably, if you have multiple dances, they're potentially already going to be calling for you again. Like you've barely gotten into the dressing room. Don't be stressed by that. They are instructed to line up about eight numbers in advance or start calling for people. And sometimes you've barely made it back to your dressing room. 
So as much as it can feel like it's it's a long day, it's gonna go really fast and it feels chaotic, but it's actually a pretty well-oiled machine and you, you're not gonna have a lot of downtime. So if you wanna bring activities to keep everybody occupied, that's fantastic. You can bring some snacks, just try to not bring cheesy things like Cheetos, Doritos, Cheez-Its, those, those things. Stick to goldfish, Rice Krispie treats, fruit snacks, things that are not gonna make a mess. And then try to just have the kiddos only drink water. We don't encourage soda, Gatorade, sports drinks, anything like that in the dressing room, just because they're sticky and they can make stains. So water is your, should be your go-to beverage back there. Um, and then just as a reminder, although they do sell alcohol in a casino, um, you cannot have any alcohol in in the dressing rooms, the lineup area, the backstage, like once you cross the pipe and drape from the lobby to come through, we nobody can have any alcohol there. So that seems to go without saying, but I am obligated by the casino to remind everybody of that. Um, so if you have any questions, like as you have watched this video and as we're coming up on this big weekend and you have questions and you don't feel like I have answered those in this video, please do not hesitate to reach out. You can email the studio, you can call the studio, you can call or text my cell phone anytime. I am not your best line of defense at the recital. Um, my role during that is I take pictures and videos backstage. I give hugs. We dance backstage. Like I'm sort of the fun department and the cheerleader at that point. So there's a lot of other people that have all the papers and the lineups and the order and access to the extra earrings and all that. So all these other people wearing lanyards or headsets are, are kind of your, your best bet for getting your questions answered. So um, if you want to bring some activities, if you have, you know, games or puzzles or coloring pages or, or something along those lines, like don't buy anything special for this. Just if you have things at home and you want to bring them, that's great. Um, in the lineup hallway, they tend to do a lot of pictures, like a lot of, take a lot of pictures, a lot of fun shots and sing some songs, um, clapping games, that kind of stuff. And the time really does go pretty fast and it is a pretty it is a pretty fun time. So once again, we really appreciate your volunteering to do this. It really does make all the difference in the world and we appreciate you. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out and thanks for watching our video.